And so the School of Bees spans a whole series of sciences, all the way from geology through geography to biology to marine sciences. And the last uh, year or so, we've taken on the climate change group and also the Institute of Environmental Studies. So our school effectively covers the natural sciences from fresh rock to the upper atmosphere. And within that, uh, we study everything from mineral deposits, evolution, we look at paleontology, we look at water resources, and a whole series of other subject areas. So in essence, we cover the way in which this earth has formed and what's happened since its formation. The program offers a very flexible um, but dynamic learning experience for people, and so it's not theoretical um, on its own, which can be a struggle for some people like myself. I need to sort of be kept on my toes. Um, and I think that's the best part about studying um, a degree like this. It really is dynamic. You just get out there and you get a hands-on feel for what it is you're doing. It's a great way to, to actually apply the things you've learnt in the classroom. And it's amazing the stuff that didn't make a single bit of sense when you hear it in a lecture. It suddenly clicks when you're there holding the rock in your hands. And so I think that's definitely, you know, without doubt, the, the greatest thing about, about the program. And um, it's, it's just it's a lot of fun too. You, you meet so many friends, even in first year. You suddenly go from having zero friends to, you know, 50 friends in the space of like two days. Number one, always follow what you're interested in, whether it's marine science or other. I like to get outdoors, I like to get dirty, and I just love animals and seeing everything in nature, so you can see the relevance behind the coursework once you get out onto the field. I'd actually made a lot of friends that were doing environmental science and geography, um, and I decided that sounds cool, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to focus on biology. So our preference is probably that you simply have a good grounding in sciences, chemistry, physics and mathematics, but certainly if you've taken biology or earth and environmental science at school, that is an advantage. I always tell students to do as much maths as they possibly can. The greatest strength of the program is definitely the, the quality of the teachers and also the experiences that we are, you know, we are exposed to through those professionals and professors. I love teaching. Um, a whole lot of people at UNSW love teaching. We have some of the very most amazing teachers around. They're in the media all the time. Um, they, they give lectures. They give lectures to first year. It's certainly a focus for us that our students are employable. That is, they have both some generic skills but also uh, some very specific ones for the disciplines they may go into. Um, our students have a very good track record at getting great jobs. Uh, a lot of them go into the uh, resources industry and that could be in mineral resources, it could be in fish stocks. We've done work catching um, freshwater crocodiles, uh, Kosciuszko National Park, playing with mountain pygmy possums and chasing down um, dingoes in temperate areas throughout um, New South Wales. Other students continue on into a research career and many of our programs are designed to prepare students for a longer career in uh, research fields, either continuing at the university or maybe joining CSIRO. Others will go into government departments or into the corporate sector. They may still work in science, but many of them move across to policy and into management. So I'm hoping to work in either state or federal government who have a very important role to play in the way we manage water resources in Australia. So our task is to prepare students for the potential of all these careers. Who doesn't like getting outside in the fresh air and on the ocean and, and all that jazz. 